Hey guys, welcome to JPEZ Talks. So I've heard it said that video making is hot right now and why wouldn't it be? It's 2021. So without further ado, watch this iMovie tutorial, give it a like, give it a subscribe. At the end, I'm going to be talking about my iMovie course, but for now, enjoy the freebie. Lately, I've been shooting my videos with my iPhone 11 because the quality on this phone is superior to my laptop's built-in camera. Frequently, I send videos from my phone to my laptop by using a feature called AirDrop. The screen recording from my phone will show you how. Just be sure you're close to your laptop so it can recognize the signal from your phone. Here's a tip. If you shoot video with your iPhone, be sure to record with your phone in the sideways landscape mode. Give your video a convenient, helpful name and store it in an organized folder so that it won't get lost. Now, I'm opening up iMovie, which is in the dock at the bottom of my screen. Select Create New and select Movie. The iMovie program will automatically name your video the generic My Movie, but you'll get a chance to rename that later. Now, I could drop several videos into this holding area, but like I promised, I'll keep it simple. I have one graphic overlay I'd like to use, so I'm going to drop that in as well. Now, I've dragged and dropped my desired video into the editing space, which is called the timeline. This video is less than five minutes long, so at first it appears pretty small. Do you see where my arrow is? I can click and drag the house-shaped icon to expand or shrink my video. I like to expand inward to see the blue sound waves. Now begins the majority of your work, clipping away the unwanted parts. I didn't begin my video perfectly. Do you see where the solid blue indicates no sound? The lighter blue hills indicate sound. I can go ahead and right click, select split, and then the film is cut. Now I can delete. I typically use the delete button on my laptop but for the tutorial's purpose, I'll select it here. This is where you have to be patient. You're going to watch and re-watch parts of your video and decide which parts should stay and which parts should go. The longer the video, the more editing that needs to be done. You'll also develop your own style. I want to start this beginning with emphasis, so I'm going to concentrate on this one part. Always make sure that the selected part is in yellow. Can you see the yellow? Yellow means selected. You don't want to accidentally delete a selected part. Near the top right, you'll notice a toolbar above the video's preview screen. Click on the cropping icon, click on crop to fit, and adjust to your heart's content. Now let's preview this and see what we think. So parents, would you ship your kid off to a foreign country? Guys, those first few seconds of your video can be so crucial for hooking your audience's attention, so don't skimp on that. While we're talking about cropping, I want to point out something called kin burns. So I selected another little portion right here. It's surrounded in yellow. I'm going back to the cropping icon. And instead of selecting crop to fit, I select kin burns and you might notice there is a starting frame and an ending frame. So I want to see what it looks like if I zoom in slowly for dramatic effect. And maybe I want to make it more dramatic. So I'm going to select the ending frame and I'm able to zoom in. So the smaller the rectangle, the quicker the zoom in. So maybe you notice it here a little bit more. And that's pretty nice. I highly recommend using that feature. However, there is the reverse of that. I can click on the arrows right there and I can move my framing around. So I'm going to start with a close zoom in there. And then I, we're gonna watch and see, do I like how it looks if I'm zooming outward? You might want that, especially if you're beginning some dramatic point. And if you like it, you can keep it. Your very best friend in this program is the splitting of the clip. Listen to this. Of four girls who have basically gotten famous just from... Right there, there's an awkward pause after I say the word have, and I don't like that, so I'm going to remove it. 
So I'm going to expand inward so that I can see where that blank spot is. See, the sound waves will indicate that. And I'm going to right click and select the word split clip. Did you see it? Now I do that to the other side, split it, select it, and you can delete it here or on the keyboard. So always go back and re-listen and usually you'll be pleased with the removal of those awkward pauses. It's just like going back and editing a written paragraph. You have to keep going back, keep re-listening. I promise you it'll be worth it. Let's talk about color adjustment. I selected a portion of film here and want to add something interesting. Go up to the toolbar above the video's preview screen, click on the artist paint palette icon to adjust the exposure, the saturation, or the warmth and the coolness. Another fun option is to select the trio of circles icon and play around with the built-in filters. These can either add significant impact or can be cheesy. It's all up to you. By now, you're probably wondering about audio. I'll talk more about this in my advanced iMovie course, but for now, let's check out the built-in audio features that iMovie provides. First, listen to this. And I'm really excited because that means, wow, the channel is actually growing. In this moment, I reveal that the channel is growing, which is triumphant news. Therefore, I want to add an applause sound effect here. I split this clip into a smaller portion so that I can lay down an audio track underneath. While we're on the topic of audio, you might notice that I have switched over to a better sound. I'm using a better quality microphone. This is my Blue Yeti. So here we go. Go to the project area and scroll through the various stingers, jingles, animal noises, and ambient sounds that iMovie offers. Other sources such as YouTube Studio and Epidemic Sound offer more choices, but iMovie has enough to get you started. Let's try a few applause sounds to see if they fit with this video clip. Separate audio tracks are shown in green. To allow sound to gradually filter in so that it's not too abrupt, select the circle at the edge of the audio clip and pull it over. Re-listen to see if you like this effect. Also, you can lower the sound by using the sound bar in the center there of the green. This is extremely important because you don't want your audio to overpower whatever else is going on in your video. By the way, you can also do this on your standard video track. Just move the bar down and you'll see the blue sound waves increase or decrease. Move your little sound bite around and then let's give it a listen. And I'm really excited because that means, wow, the channel is actually going. If you like that, awesome, you get to move on. What if you want to slow down or speed up a portion of your video? Split the desired clip and select the speed dial icon that's located on the toolbar. Here you can increase or decrease your footage to make it humorous or entertaining, like this. So how did I place text on my video? Go to the media section on the upper left and click on titles. iMovie doesn't give users a perfect amount of control when it comes to creating interesting text, but let's make the most of it. Hover your cursor over the title options and you'll notice varying styles and transitions. Clicking on a desired text will place the text onto the editing track where it shows up in purple. Double click on the text to type what you want. You can also change the color and font of the text. There are plenty of font styles, but if you want to add more, these can be downloaded. Comment below if you want me to show you how to download and add different fonts. You can learn this hack in my video editing course. Wherever the purple box is placed is where your text will show up on screen. In the editing window, you can highlight and select from different fonts. Then click on the color box at the right and use the colored wheel to pick a color that looks good on your video. Last but not least, you may be wondering how to add a graphic overlay. Let's go back to that PNG image that we saved in the My Media section. If you drag and drop your graphic onto the editing space, here's what happens. That looks a little goofy, so I'm going to make adjustments. Make sure the graphic is placed over the desired portion of the video. Select it, and remember it's selected in yellow. Go up to the toolbar and select the cropping icon. Select Fit if you want the entire image to be shown. 
Make sure your graphic is still selected, then click the double rectangles to make a drop down bar appear. You can play around with cutaway, blue green screen, split screen, or my favorite, picture in picture. Adjust the size and placement of your graphic so that it looks decent. Be sure to rewatch to make sure you like the way it looks and of course the way it sounds too. When your video is finished and ready to export, click on the exporting icon at the upper right hand corner of the iMovie window. I always select export file so that my video will be saved to my computer. Name your video something convenient and make adjustments on the resolution. The higher the quality, the longer your video will take to export. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. You all are going to make incredible content that will add value to your life and others around the world. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Links to my iMovie course as well as timestamps for this video are in the video description below. Happy editing!